So this our leaders no say waiting that they do us no good. Eh? Wife of the president come they beg Nigerians say make them may 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 make them they sorry about 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 the the economic hardship. So these people no say waiting Nigeria they go through no be my mind. So you now know. And you needed to wait for today before you you are apologizing to us. Apologizing to us as what? For what? Like that we should we should rub it on ourselves and just behave as if it never happened or it's not happening. It's only in this country that people go through things and they are being told not to. You know, it's like you spanking a child and saying, Don't cry. Ah! How on earth? You are you are you are inflicting pain on somebody and you say the person should not react in one way or the other, whether reacting by crying or reacting by squeezing his face or, you know, just showing that empathy, empathy of, you know, something is going wrong. You know, you get punished for it, you get pursued around, you're not free, you know, all, all sort of things. You're afraid, you're afraid to express yourself and all, all sort of things. Now, the wife of the president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, on Friday, earlier on, you know, apologized to Nigeria over the harsh economic, realistic, and insecurity, realities and insecurity experience under the Buhari-led administration. He said, the regime might not have been a perfect one, but I want to seize this opportunity to seek forgiveness from the Olamians and Nigerians um, in, in general. He said, we all need to work together to achieve a better Nigeria, Mrs. Buhari said, during the 62nd Independence Day special Jumat prayer and public lecture themed Surah, the Islamic Foundation of Truth, Democracy at the National Mosque Conference. Friends Hall, Abuja. You see, we cannot run away from the truth. The truth will always remain the truth. And as, like I said, on you know, in response to one of our comments or one of the comments you know that I saw on one of our you know videos, that you can't cover the truth. The truth cannot cover lies. Truth cannot cover lies. That's the truth. The truth we always have been reviewed, and time has time. Uh, time being a senior partner, you know, will always review the truth. Time does not have that courage or does not have, you know, what it takes to cover, you know, the truth. So truth, we because truth is light, you cannot harbor light. You can't keep it for too long. It will be exposed. It's sad. It's sad. People are not being paid. Lecturers are out of school. They are, the schools are shut down. And, you know, at a point, the circular was out that they should be forced, they, they are forced to go back to, I mean, a, a court injunction said they should, they, they are forced, they should be, they should go back to school. They should go back to the classes. Come on. The law was made by the people for the people. The law was made by the people for the people. And so if we make a law and it doesn't suit us, it doesn't appeal to us, it doesn't help us, it's not useful to us, then we change it. You don't expect people to continue to smile while they are suffering, like the song of that legend of ours, Fela Nicola Bokuti. People are suffering and they are smiling. But with the way, with what I see around today, it's not going to continue like that because I'm going to show you an highlight of the obedience rally across, you know, some states in Nigeria. That includes Lagos, um, Kaduna, uh, where they, I remember the governor made a funny statement then that it wasn't going to happen. Uh, and, and also, we have it happen in um, Uyo and several other parts of the country. People's eyes are now opened. People's eyes are now opened. Look at, look at the candidates that have been presented to us on the different platforms. In, at this, in this age and time, Nigeria is 62 today. And this is a special edition. Nigeria is 62 today. And we are still where we are. During this administration alone, I, I, I am aware that the, 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 the national grid, the electricity national grid, has collapsed more than 100 times. Within these two, two tenors, Come on, what are, we, what are we doing? And so they will come out now and come and tell us that we give you road. They should be ashamed. Politicians should be ashamed to come out and tell us that we give you road. I will give you electricity. I will give you, I'll give you water. Because that has been the same lies all the while. It's sad that a nation so blessed 
so blessed with natural resources that it's, it's, it's incomparable to any other nation across the globe. It's wallowing in, 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 in wealth of poverty. It smells on every Nigerian. It smells on every Nigerian. Everybody wants to run away. Everybody wants to run out. It's sad. I, when I when I saw this when I saw this you know move by the wife of the president you know one of the achievements of the president was that he scrapped the first lady's office. Yes, that was one of the things he did when he got into office. And you know when I saw that happen, I initially I felt well you know where that was that even though it didn't really didn't but then we felt that. It was one of those things that would that signified, you know, a a, a a move in a new direction. And we thought a lot of things would, would, would take a would take a new shape. You know, and this had led to several series of agitations from different quarters. We had the lives of uh, Chief Sunday Buho, we have the lives of Kano Namdekano, we have the lives of Omoyele Showere. You know. For different things, for different issues, for different agitations, just because the people are not comfortable, we are now being begged for forgiveness. Forgiveness for what? What is the crime of Nigerians? What have we done to deserve this? What have we done to deserve this? These illness, these bad and terrible treatments, these wicked acts, that only a handful of Nigerians will enjoy what over 200 million people should be enjoying. It is sad. It is bad. It is an act of wickedness. And I've told you, time will never cover up the truth. It won't. Time will always unveil the truth. It's only a matter of time. We know those who are behind us. If only they knew if only those who fought for independence knew. If only I was around at that time. And I had a voice. I said, you better leave these people alone. Let them develop us first. If they had developed us to a particular point, it would have been difficult for us to go back. Look at what happened during the last, the last UN meeting. You know, it was discovered that only African rich, African, African presidents and leaders came in chaffer driven vehicles while leaders of developed nations parked themselves in buses is it not just to get to the meeting but it is in this nation it is only in africa that we have what we call owner's corner what a poverty reading mentality you are poor you drive private jets in nigeria you are poor because the Yoruba say, O O lo wo kan la ni o to shi mewa o to shi lo We are all languishing in poverty. You are riding private jet over our head. You ride private jet at the expense of people's medicals, hospitals, schools. Students have been out of classes for more than eight months now. And some people's children are graduating abroad. And you think it all will be well? No. Remember that there is what we call the law of karma. Karma. What goes around comes around. You know what? There's some some Yorubas in the Yoruba palace. They say, you don't take care of those that live at Bere and you think you can you are secured at Bodija, you are deceiving yourself. Are you gonna stay abroad all your life? Then no problem, stay there. Let's see how fulfilled you are. Let's, let's see how fulfilled you will be. It's sad. So you know. So you know. But our eyes are open. You need not forgive, you need not beg us for forgiveness. Forgiveness for what? We are all human, and we are we 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 always stand that uh, it, it's 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 like a normal thing for humans to fall. 
But no, falling, falling is not even the issue, but remaining in the falling position is the major issue. And so when you fall, you get up again. The Bible says that a righteous man falls seven times and he rises again. Seven times he rises again. Our leaders, those of you who talk, those of you who we voted with our hearts, we thought you were going to do well. But this is how far you have been able to bring us. You have failed us. You have failed us. You have failed us. Our colleagues, our children are out of school. For seven, eight months now. And nobody is saying anything about it. Yet, your allowances in the House of Representatives, your allowances in the Senate, keep moving. I cannot imagine. Why those who are paid 30,000 Naira as minimum wage don't get salaries, whereas those who earn millions are getting their salaries? What an irony. What a eco pocky. <laughs> Let me borrow that lad. Let me borrow that English. What a hoity toity. It's a mystery. Great is the mystery of Nigerian, you know, Nigerian system of government. The giant of Africa has become a nobody. 62 years after independence, we are still struggling to get up from crawling. It's a big shame. There's really nothing to celebrate. There is really nothing to celebrate. For how long do we continue to talk about our woes? For how long do we continue to talk about the problems? I think it is high time we talk about solution. I think it is high time. I agree with my pastor who said, we have prayed enough. It is time for us to make change. It is time, it's time for us to make that necessary change. It's time. It's time. We must stop crying. God has given us everything that we require. Everything that pertains unto godliness. Everything that pertains to your successful and prosperous living on earth. He has released everything. Enough of this mental bondage. Enough of this political slavery. We got an independence from the whites and we entered into the slavery of ourselves. It is sad. I think it is time for us Nigerians, and I'm speaking to us, that we make the necessary change, that we do the needful, that we vote competence. Amongst all of them, Peter B is the best. If they bring another person that is better than him, all is well. But amongst this one that I see, Peter B is the best. I beat my check to it. And so I'll show you this very short videos. Uh, you see what the movement has been around the country, even though some people refuse to, you know, they refuse to agree with it. They refuse to believe it, that they are being threatened by this movement. And like I've always told you, this movement is not just about Peter Obi. If Peter Obi messes up, we vote him out of the office. He won't do second term. Oh, that one that, he look, it, it has almost become a norm. That when you come in for first time, automatically you will be you will do second time. No, I don't see that happening again in the history of this nation. If you don't do well, then we don't need you second time. So it's not just about Peter Obi. It's about change. It's about competence. It's about placing a demand on our leaders, placing a demand on people we put in office, placing a demand on people who promised us, who gave us a manifesto. We will carry the manifesto and compare with what we have on ground as reality. If there is any variances, then you are out. Or even get punished for what you have done wrong. Look at what happens in other parts of the world. See leaders being thrown into jail for getting bribes. Look at what we see. It has become a normal balance in Nigeria. What are we doing? How long will we continue like this? At 62, we are still where we are today. I trust God to help us to make the necessary change. And so please do share, let us, let's watch this particular video. I want you to just see what's happening, you know, the, the, the rally and all of that. Look, it's not about a milokon. It's not about where, uh, you, you know, uh, you know I, I, I help this person, I help that person. Beautiful, you have done very well. 
That might just be what you are sent to do, to help us. Look at, look at somebody, I, I, saw, I saw a comment by somebody where, where this fellow said, he said, Omo Yele Shore is not the presidential candidate. And I agree with him. He said, but you know what? This guy will do very well being the EFCC chairman, being ICPC chairman. And I said, wow, you see? You see? Nigerians are waking up. Let's watch this video. And I will come back. Of course, you are free to drop your comments as um, the video rolls. Um, let's see what is there for us. Supporters of the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, on Saturday defied all odds to stage a massive rally in Lagos and other parts of the country. The supporters, popularly known as obedience, defied the warning by authorities to match in solidarity for Peter Obi and his running mate, Dati Ahmed. In Lagos, the demonstrators defied the early morning downpour and made tight security to order the rally. Major streets and roads were taken over by the campaigners, thereby causing gridlock in the nation's commercial up. Similarly, in Kaduna State, supporters of OB dared the state governor, Nasser Erufai, to hold <coughs> rallies across major towns of the state. From Kaduna Town to Zaria and other neighboring towns, supporters of OB in their thousands could be seen dancing and jubilating along the road. The story is not different in Akwaibom State as supporters of the Labour Party presidential candidate, who are mostly youths, held a major rally in Uyo, the state capital. Well, we cannot have enough of that. Um, it's it's all over the place, you know. It's all about Peter will be Peter will be Peter will be seen as well. Amongst all that we have, he, he seems to be the best of them all. Personally, if we had the likes of um, Professor Yemio Sebajo, the present vice president, you know, as one of the candidates, then. Um, I, I think Peter B would have been just be very good to be a vice president and then that would have been the stepping stone for him to become a president in the nearest future but then um, we, politics you know primaries did not allow uh, the APC primaries did not allow you know Sebaju to come out because people delegates went there to vote for um, Shiwa Jibola Metsunobu who is the current president presidential candidate of that party with uh, Shetima as his running mate of course you know there has been the controversy of the most 
mostly Muslim tickets, you know, ravaging that party and also the issue of the campaign council list, which of course has been suspended. Now at the moment they, they've suspended the inauguration of the campaign council, even though campaigns have begun in earnest and so uh even the whereabout of uh, the presidential candidate of the apc is really really not has not been ascertained because he was supposed to be uh around to sign the uh the peace accord and he wasn't there he was represented by um his running mates and I, I think that's the second time i'm seeing him being represented by his running mate and the question is i hope we are not um uh, going to <coughs> i beg your pardon you know if he is voted in as the president of Nigeria, I hope we are not going to be making a very, very big mistake. You know, um, some say that Ashiwaju is not, um, it's not in the country, and you know there have been several news making the rounds whether he's um, fine or um, I saw in the news somebody said. Um, he, he left Nigeria because he doesn't want to be disturbed. People kept coming to see him and all of that. He went to rest and there were other pictures of him in a health situation and all of that. But then whatever the case is, we wish him well, you know, um, but then you cannot uh, cheat nature. You can't cheat. You can't cheat nature if the body does not have the capacity to be, you know, the stress that is put on it. It doesn't matter how much ambition you have; it will shut down. And so, but then we wish him quick recovery if that is the case. If he is actually um, not feeling fine, but then um, we also have in the PDP, um, we we have uh, the the presidential candidate of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, who has promised to uh, support Wike in 2027. So <laughs> that's a way of telling Wike to support him now in 2027. Just like uh, Ashwaju told them, you know, your the other time, just before. Um, the Allah fame, you know, passed on when he went to see him. He, I remember he told the youths there that they should not be in a hurry. They should allow him to become president first. And after him, he will hand over to a youth. You know, very, very interesting there. But then also the People's Democratic Party has been ravaged and been stormy um, in recent times with the issue of Wiki and all of that. And now presently, um, we are battling with um, uh, pressures being uh, mounted upon them by um, on the 16 PDP NWC members to return 450 million uh, naira. Well, uh, moving from the issue of uh, uh, um, IU to resign as the chairman, and then you know we also have um, 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 you know. Um, some people returning money paid into the account and all of that all this issue of bribery and bribery and bribery and bribery you know even before i mean well i feel that these things have been exposed this thing these things have been reviewed for a reason and the reason is that we should be able to think because it is written uh, the bible says that wisdom is profitable to direct wisdom is profitable to um, direct well uh, President Muhammad Buhari participated in the Nigerian 62nd independent ceremony earlier on today. And well, we hope that from now on, because uh, when you wake up, it's your morning. That's, that's your own, that's when, that's when your day begins. Your day begins when you wake up. And so I believe that if we wake up now, then our day has begun. And once your day begins, it gets brighter and brighter. The Bible says that the path of the just is like the sun that shines brighter and brighter. And who is the just? The just is somebody who has, is awake. So he's always awake to realities, you know. And so, uh, but then, please feel free to drop your comment. Make them simple and civil. My name is Olukunle Abraham. And this is Serious Matters on NFTV, the special edition uh, for Nigerian 62nd Independence. We really hope that things will get better you know, for us as a nation, as we take um, the right steps and make the right decisions come 2023, uh, which is, of course, another time to either make a decision that we will make or mm, the uh, our nation. But I trust that we will do the right thing and we will move on from this administration. It will get better and better and better. Yes, they, yes, this might have been, maybe we say it's good, but then we have to move on. We have to move on. We cannot continue to, you know, we, as we saw that we are still mentioning, there are other, you know, they talk about oil theft and he, he, they make it look to us as if, as if oil is vapor. Uh, it's hair that when they were carrying it away, nobody saw 
for them. You know, they, this, this, this oil thefts, these oils are being stolen with vessels. Vessels are not, they are not, they are not ants. They are very large equipments. You know, these vessels cannot pass certain places with it. It's just like saying a plane came into Nigeria, it, it landed and it took off, and nobody knew how it came in and how it came out. How, how come? He did not communicate with the control tower. He didn't do anything, and then he just landed, and that's not true, you know. But then we we hope that we'll get out of all this, and the things that look, you know, as aliens to us, things that look strange to us, will, you know, we fizzle out, and the reality of what we should be enjoying will dawn on us, and it will be our reality. Thank you very much for watching once again. Please do share our videos with others, like our videos, and um, do your best. Make your comments as simple as possible and make them civil. Thank you very much for watching. My name once again is Olukun Abraham and happy independence to every one of us outside there. God bless you and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.